and I noticed something. Some of those same people that left me on red started reaching back out to me. Now, don't that sound funny to you? Uh, hop in the booth. I only say what is true. She don't know Jimmy too. What up, though, J Nation? It's your boy, Jay Pitts. You are watching J Nation TV. Now, today, I kind of want to talk about leeches. Negative people, people that want to use you, right? Now, as y'all know by now, if you're here, if you're watching the channel, you should know that I'm an independent artist. I've been having a long come up. If y'all go and look at all my old videos, I've talked about various things on how I've come up and done my things along the way. I am not where I want to be, but we are striving to get there daily. Shout out to my J Nation fam. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and press the like button because that helps the algorithm so that I can blow up, okay? Now, as an independent artist, I've had to be humbled a lot of times. Uh, I've done a lot of things and I'm not ashamed of saying it. I've been that guy that tried hopping in comment sections. I've been that guy that had DM'd other artists. And every time I've done some of these things, I tried to look at the results and at least try it out before I judged it. And I never was spammy or tried to be like cringy with it. Like, I'm young, but I know I'm great. And if you just gave me a chance, then you'd love my music. Not my style, never been my style. Now that's some of the things that I did. And usually 90% of the time it didn't work. I might get responsible is like hey I appreciate that you like my stuff here's my feature price and that would be the conversation which is fine um and a lot of times I couldn't afford it but here's why I'm bringing all this up y'all there was a time where I reached out to certain people right that weren't too much bigger than me um but they had some successes that I wanted to have and that if I kind of got cool with them right there might be something that they know that they can share with me and that I have that I can give or share with them. So I would try to reach out to them. Ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. Cool, right? This is the interesting thing, y'all. As soon as I started blowing up on TikTok, getting millions of views, people going to check out my music, I reached, uh, at one point I had like almost 100,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. You know, I get to that point and I noticed something. Some of those same people that left me on red started reaching back out to me. Now, don't that sound funny to you? Now, when this started to happen, I thought it was funny. It felt funny, right? Because I'm like, why now? I was reaching out to you multiple times before then. And don't get me wrong. I am not entitled. I do not think that just because you reach out to somebody that they have to work with you, that they have to even respond. Cool. But if you're not going to work with me and if you're not going to respond, Keep that same energy, bruh, when I'm up and when I'm down. And I learned something this year through blowing up in some regards on social media. People are leeches. People are selfish. And you have to be willing to acknowledge that so that you don't end up in those situations with people that's just going to try to steal from you. Along my lines of uh, coming up on TikTok, I've come across some quite famous individuals. Um, uh, some people that weren't anybody beforehand, but then TikTok helped blew them, uh, blow them up. It's one particular guy that's in fashion. I friended him quite early on TikTok and we were friends and we kind of talked so, uh, a little bit here and there. And I had way more followers than him when he first started on TikTok. Fast forward, I'm at over uh, more than half a million followers. Dude has over 2 million followers and I just seen him modeling for Gap when I went to the mall. That's just how the TikTok space works. One day you're a regular person, the next day you could be a celebrity getting paid endorsement deals, all types of stuff. Now I ain't seen that type of success, but the type of success that I have seen is that uh, tens of thousands of people went to go check out my music. I got people buying my merch now. <laughs> Shout out J Nation. You know, I got multiple logos. It's the Africa logo right here. I really love this one. And I also got on Ebro's show on Apple Music and my music, uh, one of my songs, Windows, is currently on the NBA's playlist. So that means Steph Curry done heard my song, LeBron done heard my song. Like it's the NBA's official playlist that my music is on. And that's all because videos I've made on TikTok that have gotten attention and people are like, wow, we really like your music and numbers start to happen and it starts to get attention. I got hit up by labels. I've been hit up by all types of people and there's certain things I'm working out right now to set myself up. And guess what guys, when you start making money moves and you start getting numbers, people are going to see and they're going to notice. And what I noticed is that some of those same people that I was reaching out to for collaboration, they're reaching back out to me now for the same thing. And now it's funny how the tables have turned. That seems very disingenuous to me. And I'm leaving them on red because I'm like, 
Why now? Do you, do you understand? Does that make sense? For those of you that are out there, you gotta make sure you protect your energy because if you let uh, if you let people like that attach themselves to you, then you can find yourself drained because that's exactly what they're there to do. Drain you of what you can offer them versus, versus if there's a value exchange, you're giving something from yourself, they're giving something from themselves and it replaces what you gave out. And hopefully that thing that you gave can really bless them and that thing that they gave you can give more than what you gave out, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? We have to watch out for that. And that's something that I'm just realizing I'm going to have to put up with. And that's fine. I mean, how do you get people's attention anyways? I'm not calling these labels leeches because they're reaching out to me because they see I'm popping. I get because I'm profitable, they're gonna wanna reach out to me and see like, hey, uh, we could offer you this amount of money if you could just cut, bring yourself on. They see that I'm popping now, not like that, but that I have uh, the potential to reach fans, that I have great music, and that that's something that can make the labels a lot of money. So of course they're gonna reach after me for a cash grab. I have to see my value and think, is there something that I give them, AKA my music, and is what they're giving me, is that worth what I'm giving them? At this point, I say no. So yeah, in a sense, they're kind of a leech, but I have control in this situation versus it gets messy. If I'm constantly reaching out to this label, they constantly leaving me on red and all of a sudden I'm popping. You want me now? Okay, y'all get it. I'm kind of saying the same thing in different ways, but y'all understand. I just wanted to share that because at the end of the day, if it was me that you're after, then you can build a relationship with me without asking for nothing. But if it's my stuff you're after, my value, then just cut to the chase and cut the BS and quit all that like we cool and we buddy buddied up when it ain't like you wasn't responding to me before, okay? Which is exactly why I love this community, J Nation, because I love talking to y'all. Y'all always have great things to add. And I keep seeing the same names up in the comment section a lot of the times. And a lot of the times, if you're not in the comment section here, you be on Instagram or on TikTok or in my email community. And I get to really have that support group and you guys can bring similar issues and different things that you guys have experienced and we can talk about it but I'm gonna take it a step further. I just created a Patreon. That's right, we on Patreon now as J Nation. And if you join my Patreon, we'll have an even tighter knit community where you'll be able to get that one-on-one -on -one direct relationship with your boy. I get tons of DMs, I get tons of comments, and all across my social platforms, and it can be very hard to keep up with everything, and I want my fans and my followers and my family to be able to be heard and, and not feel like they're lost in the sauce. So on Patreon, you get that one-on-one -on -one with me. I'll be dropping exclusive content. I'll also be reviewing some of you guys' music on live. If you submit your music, I'll be reviewing you guys' music and giving you honest feedback and tips from the successes that I have had up until this point. Your boy is profitable, okay? I'm making money every single month and I'm at the point now where I can look around and be like, wow, as I'm sitting here, there's money being made. As I lay down and go to sleep, there's money being made. As I'm working and or doing a job somewhere else and making that money, there's other money being made. So I want other, other people to be able to feel what that's like and it's not that difficult and I would love to share these things with you guys. So I'm not gonna be spilling the tea on here but I will be doing that on my Patreon. So if you wanna go over there and join and become a member of Patreon, uh, definitely next week and into the uh, New Year's, I'll be having some content up there for you guys and it'll be super exclusive. I'll also be sharing some of the things of how I came up on social media regarding TikTok and other things so that you guys can get what you need to grow. But more or less, it's just to educate, to elevate, and to entertain. So if you guys come over there, you're definitely gonna get that. But at least subscribe to the channel so that you can get more content like this. Make sure you peep the merch <laughs> in the description. Also below the video, I have my highly melanated merch for the project that just dropped over 800,000 streams and it's only been a couple of weeks. I appreciate y'all for supporting that. Let's continue to do that. But thank you guys so much for watching. J Pits, out. Thank you.